How to use Chattanooga Intellect Legend Combo for Ultrasound. Power button is on the back. There's a warm-up phase that will happen. Everything will be done toggling through this enter up and down arrow button panel. And this little screen right here is where we'll get most of our information. To use this machine for ultrasound, you quite simply push the ultrasound button, make sure the ultrasound head is plugged in, and notice this little dial switch to a U. So if I switch to something like high volt, it switches to a 2, but if I put ultrasound in, you'll see a U. The time that's defaulted is 5 minutes. You're allowed to use as long as 15 minutes per body area. So if you're doing an upper body, like shoulder, two shoulders, do seven and a half minutes per side. This is the output screen right here, and this up down arrow power intensity will allow us to change that. This is how we, of course, change time. What we have over here is a little screen asking us different questions. The questions they will ask are going to be frequency, if I go down, you can see that's duty cycle, display, and head warmer. And we're not going to use head warmer or display. Display will be watts per centimeter squared, and head warmer we never turn on because it, it actually tires your ultrasound head out early. Under frequency, select enter and go to 3.3 if you have a superficial tissue or go to one if you have a deeper tissue. The way I changed that was I pushed on this enter button right here, which toggles back and forth. The duty cycle you will use will be dependent upon what you need. The duty cycle of continuous means that it's on 100% of the time. It's like a full-time job. Toggle this and it switches to different choices. The only other choice you will use will be a 20% duty cycle. So toggle down until you get, or rather arrow down, until you get to 20%. 20% will be the setting for when you're using pulsed ultrasound. Pulsed ultrasound is used for the helping of making the connected tissue heal. So it is for healing and generally people do not feel anything. Now, if you go down to 100% or continuous again, the person will feel heat. The maximum intensity when using ultrasound is no more than 2 to 2.5 watts per centimeter squared for the continuous. It's 2 watts per centimeter squared if the body part, if it's on, if the ultrasound head is directly on the body part. It's 2.5 watts per centimeter squared if the ultrasound head is underwater and next to the body part. When you do it underwater, you will hold it about a half an inch or less apart. If you're using pulsed ultrasound, you can use it between 2.5 and then up to 3 watts per centimeter squared. There is some question about if using pulsed ultrasound causes thermal changes, but most studies have been done at 2.5 watts per centimeter squared. When the, ultrasound, when the machine is, needs to get started, you need to push start before you're able to change your intensity to actually cause the heat.